All right, so I'm here with uh, Jackson Chawuke, uh, the SA champion, uh, WBC silver or international? Oh, WBC international or stripped uh, and then WB, uh, WBO global. WBO Global, one in that against uh, Intuanambi as well, also a young upcoming prospect. Uh, Jackson, for you now, you've got another undefeated young prospect in front of you. I know it wasn't first prize, but you still get to defend your belt, which must mean something to you. Yeah, it means a lot, you know, having a fight, uh, this, these, are, these are very, very uh, tough times for us uh, boxers. If you have a fight, you need to grab it with both hands, you know, some of us are family men, we need to provide for our families, so I'm fortunate that I'm, I've got a fight, but uh, it's not an easy fight, you need, still need to work hard, you know, I'm ready for the fight. On paper, you are a lot more experienced, you fought bigger and better names, let's put it that way, than your opponent has. For you, do you think he's going to come in really hungry knowing that you are who you are? Uh, I think he's going to come in hungry. Uh, that's why I'm training uh, 10 times as much as um, I've been training for my last uh, opponent. Uh, I know for sure he's hungry to be a champion. Uh, he has tasted the championship fight before, but uh, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, I've seen his fight, he's a strong boy. I'm not undermining him. Uh, come 27 March, I'm taking no prisoners. For yourself mentally, I know that you mentioned that you know you need fights, you're a family man, you need to provide. But also this type of fight as opposed to fighting in Russia where you are originally scheduled to fight, uh, does that change your intensity in your preparations? Uh, it doesn't change any intensity. Uh, when we work, we work. Every fight you, you put on like 110%, you know, uh, nothing has changed since the, the preparation. Actually, since the preparations of uh, Uzbekistan, nothing has changed. I've been training since uh, last year, December, and the fight uh, never happened. Then I got this fight for the rematch in uh, Grozny, and this one never happened. And I carry on uh, training because training is what uh, I do. I'm a professional athlete. I have to be in the gym all the time. How hard was the last couple of years for you? I wouldn't say uh, they've been so... Well, I mean, sorry for, sorry to interrupt you. You've been winning all your fights, so not in terms of that. I mean, just in terms of, you know, providing and so forth. I've been, I've been fortunate with uh, having sponsors, uh, which has uh, been by my side, gave us uh, Earth Foods and uh, Wall Street uh, Financial Services uh, alongside uh, Savega Security, you know. Uh, those uh, people have been helping me a lot and the job that I have here, not forgetting Damien for like providing clients for us, you know. So it's, it's, it's been tough, uh, like uh, mentally, because being a boxer, you crave to, to, to want to fight, you know. But if that doesn't happen, you know, you, you, you get frustrated. I would say frustration has been, has been the most in, in all this situation, you know. But uh, financially, I've been like a bit stable, you know. So that's, that's good, good news on that front. And uh, looking at your world rating and looking at your potential future this year, what you could be looking towards, this guy, is he going to be more of a stepping stone type of fight? I know that with all due respect to the SA title, I mean, it's a defense for you. But in terms of the bigger picture, is it a stepping stone for you? You know, I think most of the people, when I read comments on Facebook, they look at it like that, you know. But I don't look at it like that. He's a, he's a, he's a boxer. He's young. He's upcoming, he's angry, you know. So I don't look at it as a stepping stone. I look at it as a, as a tough fight. Those are tough uh, fights that uh, build you, you know. I haven't fought also in like almost a year now, you know. He hasn't fought like in almost years, you know what I mean. But uh, come, come 27, uh, I'll be ready. If, if he's going to give me troubles, then I'm going to find a way to beat him, you know. I always find a way. You're always fighting away from home. You know, that's a feature of your career as of late as you go to the Eastern Cape or you go abroad to fight in front of someone else's crowd. You have to be strong mentally in order to do that because, you know, you're fighting in front of crowds that are favoring your opponents. Uh, looking at this particular, it's going to be exactly the same. You know, I think that encourages me a lot. You know, I like proving people wrong. You know, when people are against me, uh, anyway, I don't, I don't need people to be uh, uh, with me. I know as long as God is on my side, 
I'm, 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 I'm okay with that, you know. But I love it when people are against me. They give me more encouragement. They give me uh, more power to fight more, you know. All right. So now you've got a good venue, the ICC, 27th of March. You've got a fight date that you're preparing for. Um, confidence, I mean, the venue is a nice venue for you as well. So that must give you, it must give you a bit of a lift knowing that, you know, you've secured that particular fight. Uh, you know, my man, uh, venue or no venue, if me, I have to fight. Like the last fight I told you, even if the fight was in, uh, in uh, what you call Nomfesame's kitchen. And then, you know, I don't care where I fight. You understand? Uh, they can be, the crowd can be against me. The crowd can be with me. It doesn't matter to me. You know, I don't concentrate on things that are unnecessary, you know. The, the, the thing that I'm going to concentrate is me and, the, and, the, and my opponent in the ring, you know. Other things don't matter to me. I can, even the strip, I can use my old strip that I used from uh, the first day I started boxing, you know. It doesn't matter, you know. Uh, what matters to me the most is to do what I do in the gym, you know. Work hard, you know, and fight hard. You know, the venue doesn't, whether it's fancy, even if you take me to Marabastat in Pretoria, you take me to Faradale there, it's okay. Anyway, as long as the fight pays, it's okay. And it will do, I'm sure do. Um, third defense of your, of your belt, uh, building, building your defenses up as well. Is it important for you to recognize the South African title? I know that I have been talking about international, but a lot, a lot of uh, relevance has been put on making the SA title great again. Do you feel like you're doing your sort of responsibility there? Uh, to me, my man, having an SA title, it's, 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 it's an honor, you know, because I love my country. You know, it's good to be a, a national champion. You know, must be proud of your country. You know, me wearing that belt, it gives me, it gives me pride, you know. So when it comes to SA paying a lot of money, it doesn't pay that much, you know. But, uh, you know, fighting is fighting. We all know boxing is not like uh, back in the days of Tingan Tobela, Jacob, uh, Matala, you know, it doesn't pay a lot. But as long as there's something in the bank, you know, it's better. All right. So you must be watching the flyweight division at the moment. There's a lot going on, a lot of juggling and shuffling. Uh, when you're looking at the world, because you are rated in the world sanctioning bodies, that's uh, important to look at your who you could be possibly be coming up against next. Who's your dream fight amongst the the current flyweights? Who do you want? Who would you like to fight the most out of the flyweight champions? Hey, my man, that's a tough one. It's very tough out there. You know, I would love to if I if if if, if I fight overseas, I would love to fight maybe. Uh, I don't know who, but uh, uh, like. Okay, so, so it's what about there's a guy in Japan, Junso Nakatani. Yeah. Then there's Sunny Edwards from England. I mean, those sort of names. Those sort of names have been have crossed my mind. I, I'm I watch those guys, you know. But you know, my dream is to fight for WBC. You know, when I looked at uh, Martinez uh, mm -hmm. last week, uh, he got a he got a hiding, but he was tough, you know. And then when I look at that, uh, you, is it from is it from Ukraine or where? WBA. Yeah, I know you talk much. Uh, uh, I forgot the, uh, the, I forgot his uh, his name. And then there's uh, Nakatani from Japan. Mm. Is it Japan? Yes, WBO. You know. And when I look at those guys, those guys are tough. You know, fighting those kind of fights, I think you need maybe a bit of exposure, uh, fighting internationally fights, maybe one fight. Then I get a chance maybe fight uh, for WBC, you know. But uh, I'll have to dig deep, you know, to, to fight those guys. You know. But my dream is to fight for WBC. All right, that's fantastic because obviously we do have that. I mean, look, obviously everyone's first goal is to be a world champion. Yours is the WBC World Championship. Not to rule out the other ones, but you have a dream. So hopefully you get the opportunity to do that one day. But uh, first things first, uh, you got to get through your opponents uh, coming up on the 27th of March. What's your message uh, to him before you step in the ring? Uh, my message to him is he must bring his A game, you know, because I'm bringing mine, you know, he must come prepared, you know. Uh, let's give uh, friends uh, what they pay for, you know. Uh, good luck to him, you know. Sharp. Wishing luck to your opponents. Yeah, good luck to him, you know, we, you know, sometimes we, we pray for our opponents, you know, uh, this is a sport, you yeah. understand what I mean, it's not about hating, uh, you know, when you go to fight the different vibes, you know, this guy hasn't given me any bad vibes, you know, which means 
Uh, I'm going to have a friendly uh, uh, sportsmanship between me and him. Uh, I'm not going to be hold dancing. I hope the referee is not on anyone's sides like my last fight. Uh, so far, me and him, we we like okay. But the important thing, it's in the ring. Let's show people pay to see two guys move each other. You know, so we're gonna have to move each other. I've got nothing against him, but he needs to do his job. I need to do my job. You know. He looks like a strong guy, so you must bring it. All right, and then uh, Jackson, lastly, you want to do any thank yous or shout outs for anybody? Uh, I'd like to send a shout out to my little small uh, family, uh, my wife, my two, my two sons, and uh, my sponsors, uh, Gavis Earth Foods and uh, Savega and uh, Wall Street uh, Financial Services. You know, you guys, you, you mean a lot. You keep us going. Thank you very much.